Hello students, welcome to sa online tutorial natin. So finally, tapos na tayo sa sample problems. Uh, let's proceed sa practice problems. Kasi pa din, buti na lang, no? meron mga answer key mga practice problems. Anyway, <clears throat> I am more confident no, to provide the uh, solutions. So a 9 meter simple beam daw is loaded with triangular load at uh, 12 kN at the left end to 0 at 3 meters from the right end. Uh, simple beam, so bali ito. Tama. So let's try to draw the beam. So simple beam, and then there's a load, triangular daw, uh, maximum intensity, and then 3 meters from the right end. So z uh, at left to 0. Tama. So this is 12 kN per meter. By the way, sa mga ganitong klaseng problem, madali lang ito ha. It's just a matter of drawing the correct figure. 3M, 6M. Sige. So question number 1. Uh, compute down the maximum moment of the beam. Now, <clears throat> again, tinuturo ko to sa mga students ko, no? do not draw the shear and moment diagram for this beam. Uh, trust me, it will actually take you a whole lot of time to draw the shear and moment diagram. So, to determine the maximum moment, simply, no? simply get or locate the point where zero ang shear, and then once na-locate mo na ang point where zero ang shear, sum up ka na lang ng moment doon. Okay? So, basically, we will cut the beam uh, somewhere here. Obviously, the maximum moment will of course somewhere uh, within the loading no hindi ko lang alam but i'm sure somewhere within anyway <clears throat> meron lang tayong paraan to check the answer so i'll just cut the beam here yan ipaputulin ko diyan now after putu uh, after natin putulin diyan you have two sections the left and the right section it's up to you to consider which is the easier section and i think we can both agree uh, we can all agree no that the easier section is actually the uh, the uh, dadod, yung right section okay so before pala natin putulin since we will consider the right section it's important to get the uh, reaction sa right support so tawagin natin tong rb sige so anyway uh, lipat muna natin to uh, actually pwedeng diretso na agad no uh, sa dire mm -hmm. lagay muna natin dito yan so natin yung uh, rb muna so, to solve for RB, simply sum up moments at point A. Tama ka na moments at point A or sa left part of the beam equal to 0. Clockwise equals counterclockwise. So, ang clockwise, that will be 12 times, that will be the load, no? So, ang resultant ng load is 1 half, base is 6, ang height is 12, and then ang moment arm, since our point is closer to the intensity, we have a moment arm 1 third of 6. Again, na, that is the location of the centroid of this triangle. Now, equal yan sa counterclockwise which is caused by RB with a moment arm equal to the whole span 9 meters. Meaning, we can now actually solve for RB. So, RB, you have this one. You divide mo lang to ang whole equation by 9. So, you have RB equals to 8. Once ako mo na ang RB equals to 8, then proceed na tayo sa yung section na sinabi ko kanina. So, let's try to uh, proceed. So, sa so section, again, uh, puputulin ko to dito. Ay, sorry. <laughs> Bagay. So, puputulin ko to dito and then I will consider the uh, I will consider the uh, right part, no? So, pag naputol yan, what will happen, uh, although hindi ko alam kung nasaan ang location, so, I'll just call this one X kasi nga hindi ko alam kung anong distance yan, hindi ko alam kung nasaan. But, ang alam ko, hindi ko alam kung nasaan yung maximum moment, but ang alam ko is at that point or at the point where I cut the beam, zero ang shear, which is actually important. So I will draw the uh, I will draw the free body diagram of the uh, right section. No? So the free body diagram will actually look like this. Yan, and then baron tayo nito. Again, uh, I'll just actually exaggerate the loading up para mas makita ninyo. Yan, ito yung RB. And then ito yung X. Now, again, meron tayong load dito. Now, supposedly <clears throat> our load is equal to 12, you know. Ang load natin supposedly is equal to 12 if Ang cutting point natin is yung sa edge. However, nag-cut tayo somewhere man sa gitna. So, hindi yan 12. Now, obviously, that is less than 12. But hindi yan 12. I'll just call this one as Y1. And then, susolve natin yan later on. I'll just call that one as Y. Sige. So, I think diretso na. 3M. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sige. So, Y is actually the intensity of the loop. So, anyway. Uh, by the way, since naputol yan dyan, meron yung maglalapasan na. Meron yung maximum shear uh, i'll just assume shear is upward no maximum shear meron din yang maximum moment yan ay not maximum shear sorry maximum moment pala but ang shear alam natin na zero kasi kung nasa yung maximum moment andiyan yung zero shear okay 
So anyway, uh, kopyahin ko muna to. Lipat natin sa kabila. Yan. Sige. So, diretso na. So, nakuha na natin ang RB. Uh, RB yung gagawin natin. Actually, first, we can determine the location. No? Ang location or yung X. So, to determine X, simply sum up forces vertical is equal to zero. That is upward equals downward. So, ang forces upward will be the uh, distributed load. No? I mean, uh, will be the resultant of this triangular loading. And the force, I mean, downward. And then the forces upward will be V and the reaction sa B. However, notice, hindi pa natin alam yung intensity, yung y. So, we need to solve y as a function of x. How do we solve y as a function of x? We can actually use ratio and proportion. Notice, although mali yung pagka-drawing ko, notice that this triangle should have the same slope dito sa triangle na to. So, we can use both triangles, no? ratio and proportion. So, I'll be using the larger triangle, which is 12 over 6. That's height, no? height over base. Is equal to, uh, looking at the smaller triangle, that's height, which is y, over base na x. Meaning, I can actually write y as a function of x, or y is equal to 2x. Diba? 12 divided by 6 is 2 man. Sige. So, I can now proceed in summing of forces vertical. So, again, sum up ko ng forces vertical is equal to 0. Lali, lipat ko muna. Yan. So, upward will be v plus yung rb, which is the sum natin kanina must be equal to downward load. Ang downward load is 1 half. Ang base is, again, huwag kayong magpaloko ha? This is not actually x. Ang base is actually x minus 3. Okay? That is x minus 3. Okay? And then, ang height will be y. However, oh, actually, huwag uh, magpaloko. Ako pala is, ako mismo yung naloko dito. <laughs> Tell nyo, uh, this is 12 over 6. Okay? Is equal to y over, ang base ito is not actually Sorry, it's not actually x, but rather x, no? x minus 3. Yan, x minus 3. Sige, so I hope okay tayo dyan. So meaning, uh, y is actually 2x minus 3. Okay? So again, balik tayo dito. Summation forces vertical upward is b plus rb. Walang downward is the resultant of this load. So one half, ang base is x minus 3. Walang height is y, but we already know y. So y is actually 2x minus 3. Okay? Notice, the only unknown in this equation is x. Bakit? Di ba na-solve na natin ang b? Di ba alam natin na ang shear dyan, 0? Kasi nga, maximum moment dyan. So, maximum moment, 0 shear. Di ba na-solve na natin ang rb? Meron tayong value ng rb, which is 8. Okay? So, feel free to solve for x. Anyway, you have your calculator naman. Ako, I'll just use the, uh, yung software na. But kayo, pag ship solve na lang kayo, you have your calculator naman. So, solving for x, I have two values of x. I have... Uh, a 5.8 and a 0.1, I mean 0 0.017. Again, uh, meron tayong dalawang values because uh, this is actually a quadratic equation, so expect two roots. However, obviously one of the roots is erroneous. Now, if you will try to look at the problem, x should be a value from here to here. That is actually a value from 3 to 12. So you need to choose the value which is 3 to 12. Kasi if ang piliin mo is yung 0.17, it's actually wrong kasi notice, x should be lar the larger than 3. Based on our figure, x should be larger than 3. Which is why our x should be 5.828. Okay, so anyway, I'll declare x to be equal to 5.828. Huh? Sige. So I have x to be 5.828. Uh, 5 After nyan, pwede na akong mag-solve ng maximum moment. Diba? Kasi alam na natin yung the distance. Alam na natin yung location. Sample na tayo ng maximum moment. Sige. So, sama tayo ng moment at the point of the cut. So, sama, summation of moment at cut is equal to zero. Clockwise equals counterclockwise. Based on the figure, I assumed M max to be clockwise. no? So, M max plus another clockwise is actually due to the load. Diba? Now, meron na tayong resultant ng load kanina, which is ito. Diba? Ito yung resultant. Yeah. One half base times height na Y. Ano yung moment arm? Now, again, we're summing up moments here. Then, the moment arm should be one-third of this distance, yung base nito. So, meaning, I will multiply this one further with, yeah, over 3. Okay? So, after yan, uh, M max, one-half, the area times the moment arm of this one. Now, this must be equal to the counterclockwise moment caused by RB. So, that is RB multiplied by a uh, moment arm ng RB is actually equal to X. Again, look at the figure. I mean, look at the equation. 
wala na tayong anon kasi nasolve na natin na solve na natin ang x i mean not wala ano but isa lang yung anon which is yung m max di ba kasi nasolve na natin ang x alam natin ang value ng rb then proceed na tayo so then be equal to ito rb times x minus this whole term here Okay, so we have our M max to be 39.085. Okay, so I hope okay tayo dyan ha. Kasi ba tayo na sagot dito? Tama, 39.10. Uh, okay, so again na medyo matagal lang yung uh, video, 10 minutes, kasi nga, uh, nag-explain man ako. But pag kayo na, tiren-diretso na yan ha. So wag na kayong mag-draw ng share mo madaga. Again, ang gagawin nyo lang, simply uh, cut the beam, and then consider either left or right. It's up to you to consider, but I think, we can agree, no, that the uh, right section is easier compared to the left kasi trapezoid. Once na-cut mo na, just remember, although hindi mo alam ang location na yan, which is, kaya nga X, di ba? Although hindi mo alam, alam mo is zero ang shear. Take advantage of that, sum up ka ng forces vertical, and then you can actually solve the location. Once na-sum mo na ang location, dun, mag-sum ka lang ng moment, and then you can get the maximum. Okay, so same pa din, uh, if you have any questions or verifications, with regards to the solution, please do not hesitate to comment down below. Maraming salamat sa panonood and see you sa next video na.